8 o'clock. As we first told you at the beginning of this newscast, tonight we are launching a five-part series called Don't Be a Victim. It's a safety alert designed to make you think more about your personal safety. News 5 discovered some protection items that may give you a false sense of security where others may actually provide you a better opportunity at survival. Here's Emily DeVoe. Walking around town, getting inside your car, coming home for the night when you finish work. You can't predict when or where you'll be a victim of a crime, but you can prepare for it, sort of. Sure, you can buy all kinds of gadgets, but if you're not careful, they might cause you more trouble than they're worth. What happens is we use those as a sense of security, and then we stop our powers of observation, and so we use them as a crutch. The mind's the weapon, okay? And if the mind is not trained and not sharp and not prepared, whatever tool you have to use it effectively is very unlikely. Scott Thompson and John Graham are experts in self-defense. They say any tool you buy is useless if you don't have the mindset to use it and a plan. This is the weapon. Everything else is a tool. There's a reason the self-defense industry makes so much money. People are afraid. Our News 5 strategy poll shows 54% of South Alabamians are worried they'll be a victim of a violent crime one day. It's not just women either. 53% of men have the same fear. That's just 3% less than the 56% of women who are also worried. Crime and fear is something that, quite frankly, brings us all together. It's something we all have to worry about. And whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, a black, a white, a man or a woman, everybody needs to be, and from this poll, is worried about crime. And we want to help you turn that worry into a plan for your own protection. So we put different pepper sprays to the test to find the best one. We found out the chances you'll be able to grab it in a critical moment. We'll take you to the gun range to show you just how difficult it is to shoot an attacker if you haven't been trained. And we'll show you why your house might be an easy target for criminals. But before we get to all that, you first need two things, situational awareness and common sense. Situational awareness can really get you out of a lot of trouble because what these crimes are, they're crimes of opportunity. In other words, you look like a likely victim. Changing that's as easy as putting down the cell phone and making eye contact with the people you pass on the sidewalk. Are they approaching me in a fast-paced manner? Are they, do they have a thousand yards stare in their eyes? Sometimes it just means avoiding bad parts of town after dark. If I'm going to go out at night, I make sure that I have a full tank of gas so I gas up in the, in the daylight hours. Bet you don't think of adding a flashlight to your self-defense plan, but you probably should. A flashlight gives you what we call a pause in combat, okay? You shine a bright light in anybody's eyes in the middle of the night. The first body reaction is close your eyes, turn their head. No matter what you decide to do, you should start changing your habits and thinking of a plan now. I guarantee the criminals already have one. For this safety alert, Emily DeVoe, News 5. And tomorrow we try out five of the most popular pepper sprays. And as it turns out, not all of them work that great. So be sure to watch tomorrow right here at 10 o'clock on News 5.